फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल माई चैनल इज नॉट फॉर दोज स्टूडेंट हु आर इन वेरी रश एंड वॉन्ट टू स्टडी विद इन वन टू मिनट लाइक एज एन शॉर्ट वीडियो बिकॉज आई विल डिस्कस इन वेरी डिटेल सेकेंडली माई नेम इज सतीश तिवारी एंड दिस इज माई यूट्यूब चैनल and from here i will discuss uh, gs for civil services examination so in, this is my first video and in this video i will discuss uh, world map before entering in world map you have to know all uh, earth land disk is not uh, stationary it has to change and it to be change in respective of time Uh, you you are seen which landscape it is not like as an earlier because earlier only one continent and uh, one ocean was situated continent called as pangaea and ocean called as panthalsa but over a time continent uh, divided into many parts of uh, 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 pangaea and uh, ocean divided into many ocean in this video you can see easily and you can understand easily what is disintegration and uh, after disintegration which one part of uh, pangaea move towards so in this video here you can see this is of and this is this is indian subcontinent this is indian subcontinent which disintegrating from here and shifted towards northeast direction and hit at tibetan plateau so again again you can see it is disintegrating from here and shifting towards northeast direction heated to heated to tibetan plateau and him due to heat of tibetan plateau himalayan uh, region was formed and over a time different type of himalay was formed i will discuss uh, uh, in detail when i will discuss india particularly similarly 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 in this side here you can say drifting is here similarly here you can see drifting from here and it was drifted and shifted west of pangaea west of uh, of you can say uh, also you can say it's a uh, larger part of pangaea uh, uh, and uh, over a time it has become as an african continent so this is uh, north america this is north america and this is south america similarly north side of uh, this continent here european continent was dif drifted and shifted towards to northern side here antarctica was drifted and shifted towards to southern location southern direction and form antarctica continent so again you can see dish integration and shifting i hope uh, now you have understood about uh, uh, disintegration and shifting uh, many parts of pangaea and in this image you can see you can see seven continent and uh, as i said one ocean was situated panthalsa and panthalsa divided into many parts so red region
रेड कलर रीजन कॉल्ड एज एशिया नेवी ब्लू कलर कॉल्ड एज अफ्रीका येलो फॉर नेवी ब्लू कॉल्ड कॉल्ड एज यूरोप येलो फॉर अफ्रीका नॉर्थ अमेरिका साउथ अमेरिका एंड ऑस्ट्रेलिया बट सेवंथ कॉन्टिनेंट कॉल्ड एज ऑल्सो ओसिनिक सो यू हैव टू नो वॉट इज डिफरेंस बिटवीन ऑस्ट्रेलिया एंड ओशनिक वेन यू विल टॉक अबाउट ओनली दिस कॉन्टिनेंट दैट मीन्स ऑस्ट्रेलिया बट वेन वी टॉक अबाउट होल पार्ट सराउंडिंग ऑफ ऑस्ट्रेलिया दैट मीन्स ओशनिक that means oceanic continent so this is number of continent but uh, you have to know a uh, size of continent and uh, percent uh, uh, area of earth so when we talk when we talk about uh, size of continent asian continent is largest continent then africa then north america then south america then antarctica then europe and then oceanic so it is uh, according to size of continent but uh, when we talk about uh, percent of area of earth there i am telling about approx because uh, no one data is universal because uh, also uh, percent in uh, per percent goes to uh, point number so that's why you have to know uh, almost uh, approximate asia continent has 29% of earth then africa continent is 20% of earth north america 16% of earth south america 11% of earth antarctica antarctica 9% of earth europe 6% of earth and oceanic and oceanic oceanic 5% of earth so this is a uh, percentage of earth a uh, sequence then as i said then i as i said a uh, one ocean was situated that's known as panthalsa and over a time panthalsa was divided into many parts so before before enter into ocean you have to know this side of flat image and this side of flat image very closer and nearer with each other because when you see when you see earth like uh, as an circle and you will open into flat image that means this is flat image but earth is roundable almost roundable it is not absolutely roundable but almost roundable and this is flat image of earth which you are seeing in board so that means this region and this region this region and this region more closer and nearer with each other that's mean this region 
and this region closer and nearer with each other and both place related with pacific ocean so first of all here pacific ocean pacific ocean pacific ocean and pacific ocean second is here atlantic ocean atlantic ocean third it is indian ocean fourth arctic ocean it uh, these are majorly ocean of our planet but Uh, some geographer called called as southern ocean which is part of southern of indian ocean so i i am i am telling you some geographer it's not universal so this is called as southern ocean it is not uh, uh, necessary and it is not universally and uh, um, uh, uh, it is not uh, accepted by all geographer only some geographer called as southern ocean which is southern part of indian ocean so you have to know about it but majorly four ocean in our earth pacific ocean atlantic ocean indian ocean and fourth is arctic ocean so it is uh, number of ocean but uh, when we talk about size of ocean but when we talk about size of ocean that means ki which one is largest ocean in our earth so pacific ocean is largest in our earth secondly atlantic ocean is largest third indian ocean and fourth arctic ocean when we talk about depth of ocean their pacific uh, ocean has uh, deepest ocean in our earth secondly indian ocean thirdly atlantic ocean and fourth arctic ocean so this is all about uh, uh, ocean and continent now we will move towards to longitude and latitude longitude and latitude uh, very important concept because uh, uh, there you can understand your time zones you can understand international time zone international date line uh, international time zone you can understand climatology you, you can understand oceanography that's why longitude and latitude uh, 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 is very important topic so first of all uh, we will go to uh, latitude latitude basically latitude and longitude both are virtually located in our earth it is not geographically located it is only virtually located located so middle of middle of earth so middle of earth 
फ्रॉम जीरो डिग्री इक्वेटर लेटिट्यूड बेसिकली डिवाइड अर्थ इन टू टू पार्ट साउदर्न पार्ट एंड नॉर्दर्न पार्ट सो हेयर यू कैन सी अगेन वन अनादर लेटिट्यूड देन वन अनादर लेटिट्यूड एंड दिस लेटिट्यूड थर्टी डिग्री नॉर्थ सिक्सटी डिग्री नॉर्थ नाइन्टी डिग्री नॉर्थ If you will see very carefully to latitude, you can see latitude when we we will go to uh, polar region from equator. Length of latitude will reduce, but uh, area between two latitude that means area this is area between. Zero degree and thirty degree north. This is area between thirty degree and sixty degree north. This is area between sixty degree and ninety degree north. All our area equal, but uh, length of uh, latitude will reduce if we will go. to uh, no, uh, polar region from equator so this is major fact you have to know and similarly in southern region similar 30 degree south 60 degree south 90 degree south this is north pole and this is south pole so it is all about latitude and uh, now we will move to longitude longitude also longitude is virtual line as i said but uh, difference is this longitude uh, uh, virtually virtually uh, vertically located that means here 0 degree here 0 degree 0 degree south 0 degree north it is divided to earth from here that means 0 uh, degree longitude divides earth into two equally part eastern part and western part but long but latitude uh, divided earth into two parts southern part and northern part so this is long longitude and from 0 degree to 180 degree east one eighty degree west similarly 180 degree west 180 degree east 
so from here 0 degree 30 degree 60 degree up to 180 degree from here 30 degree 60 degree up to 180 degree similarly here similarly here so here third from 30 degree north to 30 degree south from 60 degree from 60 degree north to 60 degree south these are uh, longitude and it longitude up to 180 similarly here 180 similarly similarly here one important fact is all latitude if you will go from 0 degree to 180 degree their all latitude length are equal but uh, all latitudes length are equal but when we talk about when we when when we talk about uh, area between two latitude it is different here you cannot understand because it is flat image in this image in in this image you can easily understand this is 0 degree this is 0 degree 0 degree 0 degree 30 degree 60 degree 90 degree up to 180 degree here you can understand difference between both latitude on here difference between both latitude on here and difference between both latitude on here all three have different type area this area is larger compared to this one and this one that means on place of equator difference area between two latitude larger that means when you will go from uh, uh, northern region to equator that means firstly um, uh, difference area between two latitude will enhance and if you will go from equator uh, equator region uh, to polar region difference area between two latitude will reduce but you will go from polar region to polar region difference area between two latitude firstly uh, it will enhance but after equa equatorial region it will reduce so i hope you all uh, have understood about uh, latitude and longitude now we will go for uh, international date line and prime meridian
so we have understand so we have understood uh, so we have understood about the uh, international uh, longitude latitude and now we will enter into international uh, deadline prime meridian prime meridian also called as german germ greenwich meridian uh, also called as uh, uh, european european or uh, uh, and so on but uh, uh, literally it is known by uh, uh, prime meridian so if you, you will see prime meridian if you will see prime meridian prime meridian is very straight and it is from zero degree it is from zero degree so here two question is rising first is uh, why prime meridian is straight and why prime meridian from zero degree so zero degree basically it is zero degree there you can understand this uh, eastern part and this western part as you see uh, in uh, let longitude as you see in longitude you you have to understood uh, zero degree uh, long longitude divides earth into equally two parts which is eastern region and western region so that's why it is uh, prime meridian from zero degree now second question is why it is straight straight because uh, in one country uh, uh, in in one country country can adopt uh, two time zone or more that's why it can pass through from country so that's why it is passing through country but when we talk about international date line international date line is not uh, straight because two date in country cannot accept because two date two date in one country cannot accept so that's why it cannot pass through from country between country within a country so that's why it is a state so second question is why it is from 180 180 because if you know if you know earth has 360 degree if it is earth if it is earth earth have earth has 360 degree like uh, we have studied in longitude 180 degree 180 degree and 180 degree that means earth has 360 degree 360 degree is equals to 24 hours 20, uh, 24 hours in a day that means in 180 degree is equals to 12 hour that's why international date line passing from 180 degree that's why that's why international date line passing through 180 degree because 180 degree is equals to 12 hour and 12 hour plus 12 hour is equals to 24 hours 24 hours in a day so that is concept behind international date line 
दैट इज कॉन्सेप्ट बिहाइंड ए प्राइम मेरिडियन नाउ वी विल मूव टू नॉर्थ अमेरिका पर्टिकुलरली 